Okay guys, you can see the error message. Check the cable connection. Exciting PX0 no boot device found. Press any key to continue. How do you fix this issue? No boot device found. Press any key to reboot the machine. So definitely when you press any key, it will reboot. When I reboot, again the same message. So how do you fix it? So the first thing guys, it happens when there is any kinds of hardware issue. Uh, inside your laptop, if the cable connection to the hardware and the motherboard is uh, miss, uh, it's uh, not working, maybe the cable is damaged or someone has done some repairing work and your hard disk is not working, your hard disk port is not working. So in this, at, the, at that point of time, you'll be getting this message. That is a hardware case. If there is any kinds of hardware issue, if there is any kinds of hardware issue, either you have to change the hard disk. If a hard disk port is damaged and it is not working, otherwise you have to change the cable. There is a cable that is connecting to the hard disk and the motherboard, so you have to change the cable. If that is a hardware issue, you just have to go to the nearby store. If it is a software issue, what you guys gonna do? So the software issue, let me show you how to fix. So in this laptop, I'm going. Uh, there is uh, no hardware issue, so I'll check if uh, any kinds of software issue and how do you fix that. So just uh, press any key to restart. And then after you have to enter the BIOS. So in order to enter the BIOS, either you press the F2 key or Dell key. So some desktop and the laptop support F2 key, some desktop and the laptop support Dell key. There are some of the brands that support different function key. So I've left a link in the video description. You can follow the link and how do you enter the BIOS. So any laptop, any brand, you can watching that tutorial, you'll get the guide how do you enter the BIOS. But if you know how to enter the BIOS, just enter it and let me show you how to fix that issue guys. At first, maybe you have made any changes to your BIOS setting. So at the bottom it is a restore. So just restore your BIOS setting. If you have made any changes to your BIOS setting, just restore your BIOS setting. BIOS default, it's a factory setting last known good setting or custom user settings. So always choose the BIOS default or choose the factory setting, one out of two. So at first choose the BIOS default and check it out if problem is solved. If the problem is not solved, again come to the BIOS and choose factory setting. Okay, so two times you have to do that. If problem is solved with the BIOS default, not a problem guys, it's okay. So BIOS default, click on okay. So, Click on OK and it will load all the default setting. And then after exit it and check if problem is solved. OK guys, it's still having the issue. Problem is not solved. Go back to the BIOS setting again. So when you come back to the BIOS setting again, go to the restore setting and this time you're going to do the factory reset. So that will uninstall all the new update and your laptop BIOS setting will be like a newly purchased. For the first time when you purchase your laptop and there was a BIOS setting, it will be like a new one. So do the factory reset. Even that do not work, you can, so before factory reset, you can even try this one. Uh, last non good setting. And even if you can, if you, if you would like to go, you can go to the custom user setting. So try this uh, one by one, none of these works. So try this and this one. So do not go with the custom user settings. At first try this one, we already tried, problem was not fixed. And then after try this one, and then after you can go with this. So trying three times, problem is not fixed. So in the fourth time, what are you guys gonna do? Uh, let me show you. You can see on the top, it's a general. Inside general, it's a drop down icon, plus icon, you're gonna click on it, and boot sequence. You can see guys, the boot sequence is legacy. 
so I'll change it to UEFI and then at the bottom I'll click on apply click on OK now you have to restart your PC and check it out so just exit it ok guys no error you can see my PC is working fine now ok guys let's say in the beginning there was UEFI when you were getting the issue so change it to legacy and then apply and exit it at the bottom you have to apply and exit it so I hope you guys understood if there was legacy and you were having the issue so change it to UEFI and check it out if your problem is solved let's say there was UEFI and you are having the issue change it to legacy and check it out if your problem is solved so do not forget to apply and exit so currently my PC only supports UEFI so there is a UEFI settings and then I apply and exit my problem is solved if your PC only supports legacy and for some reason it is changed to UEFI you will have those issues so try changing it and see if problem is solved I hope this tutorial help you guys uh, if it help ok otherwise maybe any kinds of hardware issue you can go and get help from the nearby store and if I find more solution I will let you guys know I hope this tutorial helped you guys. Be sure to hit the like button, subscribe and comment if tutorial is really helpful. Have a good day.